How much do you know about the five big ideas in teaching for mastery? Coherence is one of the five big ideas, but what exactly does it mean? Dr. Debbie Morgan, the NCETM's Director for Primary, tells us everything we need to know. Well, if we take a dictionary definition, coherence is seen as a systematic or logical connection or consistency. So I think there's two key elements. One is that order is important because that supports sense making. And within that sense making, connections are built. And as a result of that, we develop firm foundations which give real substance. As in Ofsted's words, they're not disconnected algorithms or tricks, but they're really strong foundation on which mathematics can be built and thus supporting later learning. In terms of the five big ideas, in particular, it links to variation, where learning is built in small but connected steps within a lesson and over lessons and indeed across years. How should teachers apply the idea of coherence to their maths lessons? So coherence is about that sequence of learning and how that builds and how that makes sense to children and builds those firm foundations. So we need to start at a point that's accessible and then build the learning in those small connected steps in a really clear, coherent manner. Slow down where necessary to ensure that all are with you. Just check, are they on that journey with you? Are they still there? Is it making sense to them? And that's where our adaptive teaching comes in. We slow down and we take more time on something, go over something again in order to support children's learning. Also checking that the learning is making sense, as I said, through those questions that we ask, through those interactions, those, those opportunities for focus talk, and indeed listening into that focus talk into what children are thinking. Are they thinking deeply about the concept? Is it making sense to them? Ensure that the sequencing is coherent to you and other teachers in your school. If you can't make sense of it, then the children definitely won't make sense of it. Um, so first of all, you need to make sense of it yourself, have an eye on where it's come from, how it's linked to what's gone before, and have an eye on where it's going to. What is the potential benefit of designing coherent maths lessons? Put simply, children make progress. <laughs> That's a huge potential positive impact because of the coherence, because we've been scaffolding them in making sense of the learning, because they've been connecting it. All children are included and make connections. And it's, it's helpful for all children. And I will emphasize that. Sometimes we think, oh, this is only for the lower attainers. But actually, it's helpful for high attainers because they sometimes skip things. They think they know it. They can do the maths. They can get the right answers but there's elements that are missing for them. And that sometimes doesn't emerge for until a long time. Maybe they might even get a top grade um, at GCSE, um, but then they start A-level and suddenly things are starting to fall apart. It's because the firm foundations have not been built. So we can't risk not building those firm foundations for all children. It's not just about doing the maths, but it's about deep understanding um, of the concept it keeps the class together and that makes teaching easier and it teach, keeps the class together not because we're holding some back but because all are going really deep we're building those really firm foundations for later learning to be successful what teachers often experience is that for some children over time the learning becomes harder and harder in essence it should become easier and easier because we're building on previous foundations and having coherence and enabling children to sense make and building those firm foundations will will enable that to happen that the learning becomes easier and easier rather than harder and harder we want to turn the tide on that trend what challenges might teachers face so one of the things that's often talked about is the curse of knowledge the journey they've planned might well make sense to them because they know what's coming and they already understand this bit of maths but they need to put themselves in the in the position of a pupil that actually they're learning this for the first time and it can be very tempting 
to miss out some steps and say, oh, I'm not going to do that. That bit's obvious, but that's dangerous because for, for some children, it might not be obvious. And even though it might seem too easy, actually, if it's easy, it won't do children any harm. No child will be harmed by it being easy. But if we've missed out steps, then we risk the learning becoming unsuccessful and leaving children behind. Therefore, it's important to have really detailed small steps that are connected. I can't emphasise that enough. What are your top three tips for teachers who want to improve coherence in their lessons? It does require a high level of subject knowledge to generate those small steps. Um, so using materials that support you in this, such as the NCTMPD materials or the NCTMCP materials, work really well. It's worth giving time to that. Even better still, um, working with someone else um, to collaboratively plan and share your expertise. And just that talking to somebody else is really beneficial for these elements to become clear. If you get the opportunity to do that with somebody else, even if it's online with somebody else in a different school, it's a really valuable uh, process. And better still, get involved in your mass hubs who will provide opportunities for teachers to collaboratively plan and design their lessons together. One thing I would guard against, when you start looking at the map, you see all sorts of connections and you say, oh, I can bring that in and I can bring that in and I can bring that connection in. Don't overdo it. Too many connections can overload pupils. What's the core connection that needs to be made on this particular journey at this particular time that will advance the learning towards um, where you're going? Once these are secured, then other connections, of course, can be made but don't try to print in masses of connections at once thanks for your help debbie for more information about coherence read the full q a with debbie in our feature if you want to learn more about teaching for mastery or the five big ideas visit our website